This year, I participated in the Singapore Sustainable Christmas Market where I put up my hand-painted ornaments for sale. The proceeds for all of these ornaments went to charity. Speaking of my hand-painted ceramic ornaments, they are going to be the star of today's YouTube video. I'm going to be walking you through my process, what are some of the things I used, how I actually laid things out, and we are also going to be setting up for our market. Now, besides the market, I also ran a watercolor workshop as well as a brush lettering workshop. So take your time to go through these little snippets that I want to show you behind the scenes before we head back to the studio. Christmas is the time where lots of people get crafty. Whether you are not really innately creative or not, it always brings up this homemade feeling. And I think because everyone has this feeling of, you know, wanting to be thoughtful to others and also wanting to make something that's really unique during this special season. So it's also the time that I'm always really tempted to try out making Christmas ornaments and this actually started when I moved into my house for the first time and I just wanted to show you the trajectory of my handmade ornaments from where it started and how it's going. So if you're excited for today's video, that's what we're going to be doing not forgetting me showing you all of those ginormous balls that I made in an attempt to stand out during my Christmas market. Let's dive into some of the ornaments that I'll be showing you. My first 
handmade ornament were these and they were hand sewn and I didn't realize it was just so simple taking two fabrics that you really like put them together and put some stuffing in just sew the edges and then add a ribbon it's so easy it was actually introduced to me by my cousin she was doing a workshop where she was teaching us how to do handmade ornaments and I just joined and then I had stitched on my initial with my husband's and the year and this was 2013 that was when we moved in and we got married and then following which we also had ornaments that were baubles and these are when my kids came I actually thought that it would have been fun to put in some memorabilia from my kids times whether it's a small toy or photograph and I put in some pom-pom some glitter and you know some felt hearts all within there with ribbons and the nice thing is that you can open and close it so that was the idea at that time but while it sounded like a fun idea because we don't use a real tree the plastic tree fell down and all of the glitter was everywhere and it was glitter for years <laughs> i think we're still cleaning up the glitter after that because i started going back into painting again after my third was born I was so curious about how to do hand painted ornaments. I went to a $2 store, I bought these plastic ornaments and they are actually blanks and then I thought like why not just buy some acrylic paints just to try out and see how it feels and how it goes. So I painted some of these florals on it and I wasn't sure whether I liked it, in fact I just I didn't really like the streakiness of it or that you could still see the transparency of the bobble so I didn't continue doing the rest but this was really cheap, it was 6 ornaments for $2 so it was really just to try and then after that, seeing that Instagram was just exploding with hand painted ornaments I had to try and I wondered if the trick was to get a ceramic one instead of plastic because these were all plastic but so on impulse I actually ordered a whole bunch of ceramic ornaments and after I got all of those ceramic ornaments I am going to be showing you in today's video the process of some of these so these are the ones that I have kept for myself and you're gonna see the painting process of all of these and I basically used acrylic gouache to paint them and these are recycled sari silks that I got from Etsy they're so pretty because they are hand dyed and some of them have a variation and graduation of colour we also have some of these and I painted them in many many different colours let's see what are some of the other ones I have Yeah, this one is definitely a favourite um, it's mint green and I love how the colour turned out it's definitely one of my favourites so these are the ones that I've kept for myself and I am putting in my own tree so in this video I'm also going to be showing you the process of this one which was an experimental one where I just wanted to try out painting with just a white base and getting really really playful with the different colours and all of that you're going to get to see this one come to life and this one was another one that I played around with I thought it was really fun to have some of the neon blues Apart from the ceramic ornaments, I have also tried acrylic and these are so fun I have just done botanicals, I have drawn on these using acrylic markers I have tried different variations and the fun thing about these is that they are see-through I know you guys are gonna ask so I'm gonna show you before you ask So here's what I use to paint the bobbles. I use folk art acrylic paints. 
These were for the base because they're nice and runny consistency. And then when it came to the designs, like the florals and stuff, I used Hobain gouache. So these were what I used and in terms of brushes, I just used Princeton Snap or Princeton Select Range. They are good enough. They are meant for acrylics. And after I was done painting, I used a fixative. And this is by Krillon. And this is a matte finish fixative. Now the thing, the interesting thing I've learned is that you know, when I bought these ceramic bubbles, they don't come cheap. And sometimes I made mistakes and I couldn't get it off. I mean, you can cover over it and you can paint over it. But the thing is, you, you will be able to see a bump as you paint over it because it's layers, right? So they harden and they form layers. So I found that by washing it off, I would just wash off the entire thing. It would just come off. That is if I don't add fixative. So uh, once I am fully done and happy with the design, I let it fully dry and then I will add the fixative and that's what helps to seal the entire thing. So these bubbles have been done since 2022 and it's been a year. It looks like it's fresh. I mean, it, it doesn't look like it has aged, if anything. So, and it has not rubbed off. I've kept it in my storage with the bubble wrap and I have also little pouches for them and I've just put them all there. So there, I'm answering that question that you are going to ask and let's dive into watching the videos.
Who would have thought that Christmas Could bring tears to my eyes Don't get me wrong, still enjoy full times We're gonna sing this song Look at the snow It's Christmas And there's our mess of toes Among all the gifts And all the Christmas cards I think of you Don't forget I ring a bell for those have nothing so lend a helping hand and if you do the very best you can it won't be hard to understand and that's how we know it's Christmas girl and boy And you can be sure it's tears of joy Happy Christmas to Christmas to you. 